All right. Thank you for coming today to discuss the impact of advanced media and technology in today's world. And thank you for helping me get a better understanding of how big of a role it is and how big of a role it plays in your everyday life. I'm trying to make this interview enjoyable as possible. I wanted your responses as a tool for better understanding of media, advanced technology, and how it's influenced some of your habits and behaviors. This interview will be recorded for the purpose of not missing out on any for information said throughout the discussion. The whole interview is confidential and only me and my person will know the details of this interview. If you are completely okay with going through this interview, please sign the consent form saying I told you everything you need to know about the purposes of this interview. If you have any information or questions or any concerns, please email me or my professor. I will provide you with credentials. Do you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay. And how many media devices do you see every day? Media devices as in phones, laptops, computers, TVs, radios, etc. Like four. Okay. And then uh, do you wake up to like an alarm on your phone, on your computer, your TV? Yeah, my phone. Okay. Uh, is your phone the most important media device you own? Uh, yes. Have you ever had any bad experiences with media devices? No. No? Now that we have discussed some habits, let's talk about value. Which media device? Do you, of your own, do you value the most? Your phone? My phone. Okay. And why is it so valuable to you? Okay. And what are some of the features on it that make it stand out? Uh, Netflix, watch movies. Okay. And then do you have any for particular favorite band for your media devices? Say Android, Apple. Uh, Apple. Apple. Okay. Um, if you, if you didn't have, if you don't have any media devices, how would it affect your career or occupation? So what would you do if you didn't have it? You don't know? Okay. Okay. In the last two decades, uh, so many advances have been made with technology and have eliminated the need for basic human skills. Have you felt you lost some basic human skills in the past few years? No. Would you be able to tell me the time from a clock or a regular watch if you had to? Yeah. Uh, would you be able to navigate through a big city, say Seattle or Spokane, without GPS? No. No? Do you think your basic skills have been affected over time overall? Uh, somewhat, I guess. Okay. It's clear why people spend so much time on media devices is because of social media and its influence. Without social media, would you spend less time on your phone or your media device? Yeah. How many social media platforms do you visit per day? One. One? Yeah. Okay. And how many times do you check it? Like two or three times. Okay. And are you constantly active on social media? Is it for a business person or are you just bored? Oh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not active on social Okay. Yeah. Do, do you use social media to promote any brands of your interest? No. Okay. Newer media devices and technologies have provided so many new features recently it might affect people in a negative way. Are people addicted to their new media devices? Yeah. Okay. And if so, uh, are they addicted to the devices themselves or what's being communicated on them? Okay. And how much time do you spend consuming media? Consuming media, watching TV, on your phone. Not that much. Not that much. Okay. And massive amounts of me media can uh, consume can affect people and influence their decisions. Have you ever been influenced by media to change your appearance, or anything about yourself? No. Okay. Every time do you go out, do you dress out for comfort to feel comfortable, or do you go out? And for entertainment media. Is such a fundamental part of our society. Most people can't live without it. Do you think people are capable of living without media entertainment services, say Hulu, Netflix, HBO Max? Uh, depends, depends. Okay. And the influence of social media has taken over most topics of discussion. Are children the ones most vulnerable to living without advanced technology? Could you say that again? Do you think kids would are uh, kids growing up now are gonna be able to survive without their phones, laptops, computers? No. No. Okay. And advanced media technology has provided so many opportunities and platforms for people to make money. This media has created another function of our economy. Do you think without it, we, our economy would be affected? 
So say online sales, you know, brands that sell everything online. Say Amazon. Yeah. Okay, and thank you for interviewing today.